The other program I'm going to quickly look at is going to be DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm using Resolve 12. It's the studio version. So there are two versions of Resolve. There's a normal version, which is free, and there's a studio version, which you have to pay for. I happen to be using the one you have to pay for, but it doesn't matter. It does exactly the same in the free version. So all I'm going to do is find those clips, which are on my G drive, drag them all in. I started this project from scratch. It always defaults to 24 frames a second. It's saying my clips are 25 frames a second. Do you want to change to 25? Yes, please. And there we are, I've got a bunch of clips in there. One nice thing about Resolve 12 compared to the other versions is it'll let you import and use footage on any drive that's connected to your computer. So this G drive, which has got my 4K footage on it, this G drive is not something that I've specified in the preferences as a media drive. It's just a drive there, which is nice. Anyway, how do I use a LUT in Resolve? Loads of ways of doing it. One of the simplest way is in the bin, select the clips, right click, say 3D LUT, and then find the LUT that you want to use. There's a whole bunch of LUTs pre-programmed in there, and well, none of those are my Panasonic GH4 LUT. So I can obviously choose one of those, and I've got something that looks actually not too bad at all. For choosing one at random, that doesn't seem to have done too bad a job, but that's not what I want to do. I want to actually use the LUT that I've downloaded. So I'm gonna get out of this, save it, I am going to find the LUT on the hard drive. There we are. And then I'm going to go to my C drive, Program Data, Black Magic, Resolve, Support, LUT. And here you can see all the things that make up all those available LUTs. And I'm just going to drag that cube file into here. I'm going to go back into Resolve, open up my project, select all those clips that I applied that LUT to, right click, 3D LUT. Have a look through the list. Oh, it's added in the one that I was using, the vlog, blah, 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 whatever it's called. Click, LUT applied. Could do it to all the others as well. Though I don't want to do it to these two, which are the ones that were filmed without the vlog on them. 3D LUT, LUT. Robert's your dad's brother. Click, play, I've got my LUT added. Throw it onto the timeline. LUT, 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 LUT. Go into the color tab say, well, I would like a bit more contrast on that, please. Add in some contrast down here, maybe fiddle with the pivot a bit to make it look like you want. Click on the number two here, boost the color. I quite like doing that one. And also fiddle with the shadows a bit, maybe. Add a bit more detail in the mid-tones. This is like a sharpness, but only for certain areas. And yeah, maybe I've got a shot there, which I quite like the look of. But very simple. Yeah, you add a lot, then you fiddle with it. If you wanted to, you could use this to actually take a bunch of clips that you filmed and let's make up a new timeline. So I'm gonna go timeline, create new timeline, bonk. I'm gonna grab all the clips and throw them on there. So all these clips now have LUTs on them. And I could use it as a simple way of actually making clips with the LUT built into it. Go to the deliver panel and then output them in some kind of file. Now I'm gonna to choose to output them as individual source clips. These are the various formats that you've got. So the logical one is to use some kind of QuickTime file. It says AVI files, but the only kind of files it does are uncompressed or Cineform. And you won't be able to read the Cineform files unless you download the Cineform codec. Whereas if you choose QuickTime, you can do formats that a lot of different things understand. Now I actually like to use the Grass Valley HQX format. As I have EDIUS, I can do Grass Valley HQX. HQX is a very nice format. It makes reasonable sized files, but they're very good quality. Uh, it's something that comes with EDIUS, but if you don't have EDIUS, you can just download the codec from the Grass Valley website and use that. And Resolve specifically programmed in the ability to make HQX files about a year or so back. Other alternatives, obviously there's uncompressed. There's H.264, which is a very compressed format, so I tend not to use that. Because, you know, I'm going to take these and then edit them and then make them into something else. I want to keep them as nice as possible. Uncompressed 4K is probably going to be more than my hard drives can cope with. Grass Valley HQX isn't. Or maybe if I'm using Avid, then maybe I'll choose an Avid format, like one of these ones. You've got DNX HD, which only does up to HD sizes, and then DNX HR, which does any particular size you want. I'm going to tick Render at Source Resolution, so I'm going to keep it the same size as the originals. Definitely do the sound. 
Where am I going to put it? Well, I'm going to just click on browse and then obviously choose somewhere. Let's open up the more options. I do have options here for how they're named. So you can say we'll render them with unique names and it'll put numbers at the start and the end. These should all have unique names. I can probably ignore all of this lot as well. And then just click add to render queue, add it in, start render, and off it'll go and take all of those clips and convert them into HQX with the LUT built in, with the LUT rendered in. And that's one option if what you want to do is actually apply a LUT and then take them off into another editing program. Now personally I don't bother, even if I'm using it in a program like Edius that can't do LUTs at the moment, I'll just use some other method of making them usable. It's a very simple way of doing it, and again, this program is free. There's a free version and a paid for version. The free version lets you grade clips up to UHD in size, it lets you do just about anything you like with them. What you get if you pay for it is it can do bigger than UHD, it can do stereoscopic, and it's got some nice noise reduction filters. But the free version does an awful lot. In version 12, they've added an awful lot of editing stuff, so it's actually quite a nice editing program. I've still got loads of reasons why I might use Premiere or Edius instead, but actually it is getting better and better. But I generally still use it for grading. But yeah, if you want to actually use the stuff, very simple, bring them in, throw on a LUT, and then you can either edit in Resolve, or you can just export them as files, which you can edit in something else. Well, I hope that's explained how to use LUTs in various programs and how to use the vlog footage inside the Panasonic camera. If you've got any questions, of course, email us, sales at dvc.uk.com or support at dvc.uk.com or give us a ring, 01273 205 700 or visit us on the website, www.dvc.uk.com.